Amazing Poop Facts with Duty the Dung Beetle. Duty the Dung Beetle. Hi, I'm Duty the Dung Beetle. Can you guess what my favorite thing is in the whole world? It's poop! Some people think poop is just something smelly that's flushed down the toilet. But they're wrong. Trust me. I live in poop and eat it. I even roll poop into little balls and bury them so I can munch on them later. Dung beetles like me eat lots of kinds of poop, from elephant poop in Africa to cow droppings in America. Poop is packed with nutrients that keep me strong and healthy. When I catch a whiff of poop, I fly right over and dig in. There are so many amazing things about poop. I just can't wait to tell you about them. Plug your nose and follow me. What is poop? Have you ever asked yourself, what is it that plops into my toilet every day? If so, you might come up with an answer such as, poop is all the food that I eat, but my body doesn't use. Well, good answer, but poop is more than just leftovers. When you swallow food, it travels through your mouth, into your stomach, and through your intestines. During that journey, the food goes through all kinds of changes. Digestive juices and tiny living things called bacteria break down the food into smaller pieces. Your body takes in nutrients from the food, which help you grow, build muscles, and have energy for all the activities that you do every day. And by the time poop leaves your body, it contains digestive juices and is full of billions of bacteria. And farts? Well, they can be loud, stinky, and embarrassing, but everybody makes them. They are made of air that you swallow while eating and gases that build up inside you during digestion. From pasta to poop. Yum! That's some delicious looking spaghetti. But the next time this kid sees the meal he just ate, it won't look nearly as good. Food often takes one to three days to travel through the human digestive system, and after that, it comes out as poop. The digestive system here in this picture. Number one, you chew your food, break it down. Number two, that mashed up food traveling down your esophagus into your belly. Then there's those digestive juices at number three. They're in their tummy and they're breaking food down into a liquid mixture. The body absorbs vitamins, fats, and other nutrients in that food. The food that the body can't use moves on to the large intestine. Now, number five, this is the body's last chance to get water and nutrients from the food. And as the large intestine absorbs water, the waste gets harder and harder, becoming solid poop. Poop detectives. Well, everybody poops, even athletes, presidents, and movie stars. Explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark were famous for mapping part of the United States more than 200 years ago. But did you know that their poop is famous too? Yeah. Historians believe that during the Lewis and Clark expedition, they camped at a place called Traveler's Rest in Montana. Journals and maps hinted that they'd set up camp there, but no one could prove it. That is, until they examined the camp toilet. You see, the explorers took pills that treat constipation. Uh, that's when you have trouble pooping. The pills contained large amounts of the chemical mercury. Today's doctors know that mercury is poisonous, but back then, they didn't know that stuff. And when the explorers went number two, they squatted over holes dug into the dirt. And their poop contained mercury which mixed with the soil in the homemade toilet. And many years later, when archaeologists found the camp's toilets, they tested the dirt. And sure enough, it contained traces of mercury left over from the explorer's poop. And it was the proof historians had been searching for. Lewis and Clark had camped at Traveler's Rest. Doctors and scientists can tell a lot about a person by studying what's in his or her poop. They can tell what a person ate and what kinds of medicine he or she took. And sometimes they can tell if a person is sick. Biologists also collect poop from animals to learn about them. This poop is called scat. 
and it can tell scientists about the health of an animal and what it likes to eat, and even if it's male or female. In the jungles of Nepal, biologists have gathered poop to learn about the mysterious Bengal tiger. Since Bengal tigers are mostly active at night and can be difficult to see in the wilderness, scientists aren't sure how many of them live in the wild. And to learn more, scientists collect the tiger's poop and study it. And they can tell from looking at the scat what type of tiger it belongs to, how many tigers live in the area, and where the tigers are traveling. This information helps people protect those majestic animals. So other words for poop are scat, feces, dung, droppings, and manure. Pass the poop, please. Poop is loaded with nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that helps plants grow. And when bird poop splats to the ground, it doesn't take long for those droppings to mix into the soil. Manure comes from cows and horses, and it's packed with nutrients, too. Farmers often mix the manure into their land as fertilizer to grow bigger crops. But some plants must find ways to survive in poor soil that doesn't have any nutrients. And in the forests of Borneo, a huge island in Southeast Asia, the pitcher plant has an interesting diet. It eats bat poop. Now, the pitcher plant provides a comfy resting place for the woolly bat. The bat goes into the bathroom inside the plant, which is shaped like a long, narrow cup. When the bat poops, the droppings fall right into the plant. Then, dinner time. The plant feeds off the nutrients from the poop. How many pitcher plants trap and eat insects? Yikes! A lot. That's one plant I would not want to meet. Typhoid Mary. Well, I bet no one likes poop as much as I do. But even I have to admit that poop can cause problems. Harmful bacteria live in human poop. And when these bacteria get into drinking water or food, they can cause deadly illnesses. Cholera and typhoid are two diseases spread by poop. They've killed millions of people. One of the most famous typhoid cases involved a woman named Mary Mallon, better known as Typhoid Mary. In the early 1900s, Mary worked as a private chef in New York. And in almost every home where she worked, people got sick from typhoid. Several people died. Doctors figured out that Mary had typhoid, even though she didn't seem sick. But because she had typhoid, it was especially important that she scrub her hands after she used the bathroom and before she touched food. And whether or not Mary scrubbed her hands is unknown, but people kept getting sick. And Mary was never allowed to work as a chef again. Whew. Creating with dung. With so much poop in the world, people have found all kinds of creative things to do with it. What if you could do your homework on an elephant dung? Well, you can! Elephant poop has a lot of plant material in it, which makes sense since that's what elephants eat. People in Asia and Africa realized they could turn that plant-filled poop into paper. And if you're worried your teacher might not like it if you do your homework on poop paper, don't worry, elephant poop paper doesn't even smell bad. And in some parts of Africa and India, people build houses out of mud, sticks, straw, and, you guessed it, animal poop. Cow dung helps protect people from heat and cold. And adding poop to clay bricks also makes the bricks lighter and less likely to crack. A stinky sport. Some people have taken poop to new heights. They've invented silly sport that involves throwing dried pieces of cow poop, known as cow chips, into the air. Cow chip throwing contests are a big hit at state fairs and small town celebrations. And before a contest begins, participants look through a mound of dried cow dung to find their favorite piece of poop. And they examine the shape and the size and the weight of the dung before making their choice. Some say that the round, small, and slightly heavier pieces travel the farthest. Then participants line up and heave the cow chips as far as they can. 
From helping scientists solve mysteries to helping plants grow, I think you'll agree that poop is pretty amazing stuff. So the next time you go to the bathroom, think about the fascinating things that poop can do. Oh, all this talk about poops made me hungry. Does anybody know the way to the nearest cow chip? <laughs>